It was a tragedy what happened with Phoenix. The owner of the dog at the center of a viral video speaking out. This after local law enforcement arrested two women in that same video. Tina Fry and her daughter Victoria Brimmer of Cypress Arrow Cane Corso and Canine Training Academy. Now the arrest come about a week after the videos began circulating on social media. And now Tina Fry and her daughter Victoria Brimmer each facing two felony counts of aggravated cruelty towards animals. It was a tragedy what happened with Phoenix and um, we are just giving her as much love and cuddles as possible. The Rapids Parish Sheriff's Office making the arrest earlier today, about a week after at least two videos started circulating on social media. Accusations that dogs at Cypress Arrow were being abused in their care. For Phoenix's owner, Carmen Clout, she tells me she is crushed by what she saw in the video. Their dog in the middle of Tina Fry and daughter Victoria. For the first time Wednesday, we heard from Fry's attorney, Bradley Drell. Fry's lawyer says investigators have, quote, gone overboard in this case, essentially what some would say is caving to public pressure. Drell comparing the investigators' actions to the recent FBI raid at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. Drell going on to say, Fry and her daughter were interviewed for two and a half hours. The cell phones of Fry, her boyfriend, and her daughter were taken. And then on Wednesday, 15 deputies executed a search warrant at Cypress Arrow, taking leashes, collars, quirts, also computers, financial records, and home security recordings. Drell then going on to say that the notion that the sheriff is somehow sweeping this under the rug is completely false. Instead, saying the sheriff's office has gone overboard. Going on to say revenge from a former employee who was fired seems to be the motivation for releasing the videos. Further saying Cypress Arrow was shut down Saturday morning, that there were no more dogs at the facility, and the sheriff's office didn't issue a press release as they said they would. The post on social media that there are still dogs that belong to clients on the premises and that Cypress Arrow is still in operation, he says, are completely false. Drell saying Tina Fry has never hurt or injured a dog in her care. Talking about the breed, Drell saying they weigh over 100 pounds and that they have the potential to be very dangerous to human beings if not trained properly. The video creates, quote, a false impression that dogs are being injured, end quote. Phoenix at the time was attempting to chew, he says, through a leash which would have allowed Phoenix to bite either Miss Fry or her daughter. That, quote, Miss Fry was using the court to direct Phoenix away from biting the leash, end quote. Drell then turning his attention to the new video he released when Phoenix's owner showed up to take their dog. Drell saying it shows, quote, Phoenix's owner and Miss Fry using the quirt on themselves, expecting no pain. While the quirt makes some noise, it is flexible and not painful, he says. Many people feel that the use of the quirt is not what they would do to correct a dog. The use of the quirt is not inhumane under the law. Phoenix, he says, was in no way injured as shown in the video. Also yesterday, Wednesday, the sheriff taking to Facebook saying, quote, this is a very high case and is on top of our agenda. Although because it is an ongoing investigation, there is only so much I can speak on, but I can say one thing. I promise you all that this is not going to be swept under the rug and will be handled in a very serious and personal matter. There is a certain small group of people, the sheriff said, who are trying to again spin this for their political agenda, and sadly, they will continue to do so on every case that arises in our future. As for Phoenix's owner, her focus is now on her dog. She just started today eating, which it's good. Um, She has been in her kennel. She hardly comes out, so we're just giving her a space. Yet at the same time, Cloud says she is saddened because she had so much respect for Fry and her credentials.